If you're a filmmaker, a content creator, or just someone who geeks out over camera tech, you're probably asking the same question we are right now. Is the Sony FX8 finally about to drop? And what exactly can we expect from it, if it is coming? Well, something's definitely brewing over at Sony HQ. A few weeks back, they quietly registered a brand new camera model in Shanghai, China, and that has definitely sparked some serious buzz. Now, if you're thinking, hold on, what does a camera registration even mean for us? We've got you covered. Let's dive into what this could mean, what the signs are pointing to, and of course, what we hope Sony delivers in the FX8, if that's really what's coming. Because honestly, we've got some thoughts, and we know you do too. Okay, so here's the deal. Sony officially filed a new camera model in Shanghai, China. Now, this isn't some random location. This matters. Why? Because Sony's Shanghai facility isn't where they make everything. It's mainly where they produce the ZV series cameras. And this is the part we're really paying attention to, their cinema line. So right off the bat, it tells us this isn't just another vlog style point and shoot. This could be something built with video professionals in mind. And that opens the door to the possibility of an FX series update. Now, of course, Sony hasn't confirmed anything yet. No official names, no teaser videos, no dramatic countdowns. But if you look at the FX lineup, FX3, FX6, FX9, it's kind of due for a refresh, right? These cameras are rock solid, sure, but they're not exactly cutting edge anymore, especially as other brands are aggressively pushing forward with new tech. So naturally, all eyes are now on what Sony's cooking next. And we're all wondering, could this mystery camera be the FX8? Let's be real. The FX line has been one of the most trusted names in digital cinema, especially for creators who want pro-level image quality in a relatively compact, handheld friendly body. The FX6 and FX9, solid, great low light, gorgeous color science, cine style ergonomics, but it's 2025. And these cameras are starting to feel like they're falling a tiny bit behind in some areas. We're talking about things like internal RAW, better IBIS for handheld shooting, or more flexible recording formats, features that competitors are starting to offer out of the box now. And while the FX6 and FX9 still hold up in many ways, you can't deny it. A lot of us are craving something new, something updated, something more. So when this new registration showed up, yeah, you bet we started connecting the dots. Quick heads up. If you're into cameras, leaks, and honest takes like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You won't want to miss what's... Here's where it gets even more interesting. According to a trusted source, a review unit of an unannounced Sony camera is already out in the wild. Yep, someone's already using it testing it, and they're impressed with the performance overall. Now here's the kicker. The source said the camera is definitely made with video users in mind. That's a huge clue right there. Not a hybrid shooter, not a photo first body with good video as a bonus. This one's clearly designed for filmmakers. Even better, it's rocking a new IBIS unit that's reportedly working like a charm for handheld shooters. And that's a big deal. One of the main gripes with the FX6 and FX9 was the lack of truly effective in-body stabilization. If Sony has finally nailed it with a new system, that could be a massive quality of life upgrade for solo operators and run and gun shooters. But, and this is important, the source also mentioned one letdown, no open gate recording. That's kind of a bummer, especially as more video shooters are wanting that extra sensor height for anamorphic lenses or vertical framing flexibility. But hey, if the camera nails everything else and is priced right, that might be a trade-off many can live with. Okay, time to pump the brakes just a little bit, because here's the thing. The source never actually said this. Mystery camera is an FX8. In fact, they didn't confirm if it's even from the FX line 
or something like a new A7C style body. So yes, while we hope this turns out to be the FX8, we're still waiting for something more concrete. It's definitely a camera for video creators. It's definitely not an entry level compact and it's already in someone's hands. That's enough to keep us excited. But whether it's the FX8, a new category altogether, or something that slots in between existing models, that's still in the air. Still, it makes sense for Sony to finally update the FX lineup. The FX3 got a lot of love for being compact and versatile, but it's not really a high-end cinema tool in the traditional sense. And the FX6 and FX9, like we said, they're aging. Not ancient, but not exactly fresh either. So yeah, FX8 feels like the right move, and the timing couldn't be better. So if we were sitting across from the Sony engineers right now, just spitballing ideas. Here's what we'd love to see packed into the FX8. And let's face it, if they really want to shake things up in 2025, some of these need to make the cut. First off, open gate recording. Even though the source said it might not be there, we're still holding out hope. This has become a bit of a must have for a lot of indie creators who want the most sensor flexibility without cropping. Next up, internal raw or at least high bit depth codecs without needing an external recorder. Nobody wants to carry extra gear unless they have to. Give us ProRes or XABC in all flavors and you've got a winner. Then there's autofocus. Sony already crushes this in the Alpha series, but in the cinema world, it's still hit or miss. The FX6 was decent, but not quite alpha level magic. If the FX8 brings alpha grade AF with subject tracking and better touch control, that'd be chef's kiss for documentary and solo shooters. And of course, IBIS sounds like it's finally happening and that's going to change the game for handheld users. If it's anything like the latest ZVE-1 or A7R V stabilization tech, that would be a big win. Lastly, we really hope Sony keeps modularity in mind. FX shooters love to rig their cameras up. Cages, monitors, follow focus, audio modules. But we also love it when the camera works right out of the box without needing a Frankenstein setup. Fingers crossed Sony keeps that balance. Even with all the excitement, there's still a bit of healthy skepticism. For one, pricing. If the FX8 is supposed to sit between the FX6 and FX3, where does it land in terms of cost? Will it cannibalize the FX6? Or will it end up in a weird pricing zone that makes it hard to justify for budget-conscious shooters? Also, how much of an upgrade is it really going to be? Sometimes companies drop new models that are just slightly reworked versions of older gear with a few tweaks. And let's be honest, if the FX8 turns out to be just an FX6 with better IBIS and one or two codec options, people are going to be disappointed. We want a leap forward, not a baby step. Plus, how well will it hold up to competitors like Red Komodo X or Blackmagic's growing lineup of affordable cinema cameras? Sony can't just rely on name recognition anymore. People want value and innovation. So where does that leave you? Should you hold off on buying an FX6 or FX3 right now? Honestly, maybe. If you're not in a rush and your current setup is still getting the job done, it might be worth waiting just a few more weeks. Because whatever Sony announces, whether it's the FX8 or something completely unexpected, it's clearly going to be focused on video creators. And with review units already out in the wild, that announcement could be just around the corner. But if you're mid-project and need a workhorse today, don't put your production on pause for a mystery product. The current FX line is still rock solid. Just know, the next evolution might be knocking at the door sooner than we thought. So that's all about the Sony FX8. Are you waiting for Sony's next cinema camera before upgrading? Or are you good with what you've got right now? Drop your thoughts in the comments. As for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.